Hey ladies and gentlemen, um, I've decided to go ahead and use this machine. I am, uh, I'm still going to build version 2. Uh, I've made some decisions there um, in terms of materials and design. But I came to the conclusion that it is, um, it is silly for me not to go ahead and use this machine. Um, to think that the little issue I had with chatter is going to be the only one is a little silly. So I should probably go ahead and use this machine, um, run it, and continue to find um, any other issues and problems that can be sort of pre-solved. Um, you know, in designing version two. So I will show you what I got here. Um, I did some stuff. There's a gigantic X. And um, yeah, it flexed. <clears throat> it, it's amazing what the power that the router has to flex the frame. Um, but it worked and it came out. Um, there are, these are squares I used, um, I'm still working on my step count um, to the number of steps to get exactly a certain size and I've pretty much dialed that in. Um, a couple more, let me, let me do this real quick, I need to hide a name here, that'll work. All right, I'm working on a sign for my wife um, for her shop, and uh, so I started doing some lettering, and it uh, came out pretty well. I'm actually the next one I'm going to run. This is covering up my real last name, by the way. Um, if you've ever ordered something from me, you might notice um, that the last name on the package is not Robinson. And it's because Robinson is not my last name. Robinson is our internet last name, and it was simply done because. It's just a teeny, tiny, tiny little bit of protection um, for the boys um, when they're online. Uh, both my boys use Robinson online as a last name, uh, just because they're spreaks on the internet. And um, as if someone couldn't find my real name if they wanted to, um, or theirs. But it's like I said, it's just a little teeny bit of um, protection for the kids. So, um, so that'll explain that if you've ever seen the real last name. So, and that's why that block is covering up that name. Um, at any rate, the next shot I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to try to save the letters as raised like this, but I'm going to try to make them a little bigger so we don't actually lose the letters, and uh, and I'm going to try to do the whole uh, background um, bigger. It seemed to work extraordinarily well. I mean, it's just just gorgeous. Also, another thing I've noticed this. This was cut with um, the only bit I had. Where is that? Do I have it banging around here? I used a straight cut bit, um, which is just, oh, arg. I don't know. Um, I used a straight cut bit, which is just a straight flute dado bit for a router, uh, which was the wrong bit to use. Um, <laughs> It uh, basically what it does is it cuts and it puts the sawdust directly behind the bit, still in the groove in the cut, and it leaves it there. And then all it basically does is just keep going around, wallowing in its own dust, just burning and making smoke and mess. Um, spiral bit, upcut bit is of course the way to go. But I live in the middle of nowhere, and there's not exactly a place to buy spiral upcut bits right around the corner. Um, certainly not on a weekend. So. Um, there's one place uh, on Cape, on Cape Cod here where I live, where I think I can get bits. And uh, so tomorrow, Monday, hopefully I can get a, a proper bit. I did have, I do have this little spiral bit, but unfortunately it didn't have the depth I need to get all the way through the three quarter. So I've been using that for these letters and it's been incredible. Um, but like I said, I had to use a quarter inch straight bit to get all the way through here, and it was just not, not correct. And also led to a lot of the flexing, I think. But I got a giant X out of the deal, which is cool. And I have no idea why I picked X. Um, <laughs> I just did X. It, I, I don't know. X. Um, I actually had two. Do I have this? Where's my other X? Oh, yes, there you go. 
Oops, oops, ah, with the finger, sorry. There you go. Just doesn't it make you want to have a Mexican beer? <laughs> Dos ejes. All right, so there's that, there's that. Those are, those are fun. And then I started, just started some uh, ideas on the mock-up of the, um, of the uh, control panel. I use, uh, I save all, anything that's shipped to me, um, especially these priority boxes, I save all my scrap boxes and use them for, for uh, instead of recycling them or throw them out, or before they're recycled or thrown out, I, I like to use them for mock-ups. And so this is um, maybe, maybe something like the control panel. These would be jog buttons, Z, X, Y. These are rotary switches to switch X, Y, Z, auxiliary one, auxiliary two. Um, oh, I can't remember. Main on, router on. Oh, these are cool little missile switches with the switch underneath. And then, you know, they click off when you, when you flip them down if they're adjusted right. Um, main on, um, router on. Extruder, hot bed, and dust collection, probably, I think. And then I'm actually probably going to have a couple LCDs because I'm going to have to do... Oh, yeah, I started playing with my extruder. Um, I got the little doodads in there, and I got the wires kind of shrink-wrapped and magic golden taped and, you know, up out of the way. And I'm, I'm just now starting to work on the Arduino... Um, standalone controller to keep the temp temperature going. It looks like I'm actually going <coughs> it actually looks like I'm going to actually do my uh, 3D printing through Mach 3. So, um, I'm still going to have an Arduino on board um, and be able to switch to it, but it looks like um, I could just print directly from Mach 3, which I'm getting happier and happier and happier with the more I use it. Um, it really, really, really makes things, and lazy cam too. I know a lot of people have bad things to say about lazy cam, but it's so straightforward and simple, and I figured it out, which is just counts for a lot in my book. So all of these, everything here was laid out in lazy cam, or it was done in SketchUp and then brought to lazy cam, or it was brought in, it was done in Inkscape and then brought into lazy cam, and uh, it just works. Probably the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and mill a proper clamp for the router. Uh, I can get way I can get rid of this big ugly box and I can get rid of this ugly base and I can just do clamps around the the can of the motor, the barrel of the motor itself, the way it's kind of supposed to be, and that should actually help. When I figured this gantry height, it actually is figured for this motor to hang down about two inches lower than it is now. Um, so that'll be nice to get fixed. Um, but all in all, I, I have a working CNC machine. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I got the flex problems. I got the chatter problems. I'm going to fix those on version 2. Version 2 is going to be phenomenal. But uh, but as we stand now, first shot, the fact that I have a machine that, that works is um, is cool. It's really cool. It's, it's uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So... Um, I talked to father-in-laws. I talked to uh, professional welding buddies. I talked to buddies of buddies who are CNC people. I've talked to uh, a bunch of people, and um, I've basically made the decision on the version two. Uh, a couple of rules, two major rules. Number one, if the part is not supposed to move, then I am going to make it really, really, really not move. The the main frame and the fixed gantry on version two are going to be two by three box tube. And um, if I can afford it, I'm going all the way up to three eighths inch wall thickness, um, probably quarter inch, but I'm just, I'm just not having it. I'm not screwing around. It's, I want it to weigh 400 pounds. Um, heavy, 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 as heavy as it possibly. If it can't move, it's going to be heavy, period. Um, already decided, oh, I'm sorry, already decided to, um, to trade travel for, uh, rigidity, um, and, uh, uh, no more so than X and Z, 
Again, these rails wider, basically is why I say I can go. The Z uh, uh, blocks probably double the width and uh, double the height and double the width, um, which I'm going to lose a little X, but it's just, you know, two points farther apart from each other diagonally makes things stiffer. So I'm going to beat the uh, beef the, the living crap out of that, and um, and that yeah, and then of course the base. Uh, it just needs weight, like literally cinder blocks, con concrete blocks, and then it just needs gigantic diagonals. I'm, I'm going to, um, I'm going to diagonal. I'm going to do it an X on basically every side. I might even X the front, um, and lose access to this in here, but, uh, but screw it. I'm getting so uh, just it, it cannot move an inch. Um, big plates on the feet. It's got. To, I'm going to bolt it to the floor as well. So, um, so there you go, uh, quick update, and, uh, and we're well on the way to version 2. Nothing has popped up other than what I've discussed already in terms of stuff I'm going to fix on version 2, but, um, but there you go. Oh, and if you're wondering where the new machine is going to be, um, you know, where I'm going to put it, um, <laughs> X, X. Marks the spot. Easy. X. See, it's an X. It marks the spot. You see what I did there with the with the spot. It's an X. And that's enough for tonight. <laughs>